Hello, my name is Simon Schönhaar. Hello, my name is Simon Schönhaar. We have now finished creating the application and I'm going to show you how to check the program using the online functions Dynamic Program Display and Variable List. The first step is to download the program to the control system. In order to do this, we need to build all the changes and programming. Our pass tool contains an icon that we can use to build the changes. Once the project has been built successfully, we'll see this down here in the build results, we can open the download dialog box via another icon on the bar. The pass tool now establishes the connection to the control system. We can see if everything is OK in the device status area. If we click on the Start Download button, the data will be downloaded to the control system. The download is now complete and we can proceed to the online functions. The next step is to start the dynamic program display. To do this we need to select the block that we wish to view online. By right-clicking on the block we can select dynamic program display from the menu. As this block has been instantiated more than once, we must now select the required instance. A new window opens, which I can enlarge by double-clicking. The current project is displayed and I can see the status of all the variables in this block. To display longer variables, there is an icon at the top which I can use to change the size of the display elements. It is also possible to change the format of the variables. I can do this by right-clicking on the variable in the Format menu. The following formats are available – binary, decimal, hexadecimal or octal. If I wish to change the format in the whole block, I can do this up here in the menu and so make everything uniform. When I have checked my entire program, I can stop Dynamic Program Display and reduce the size of the window again. Next, we will use the variable list to display the status of individual variables. We can also use the control and force function to simulate non-existent signals and set outputs. Variable lists are the last item in the project manager. First I need to create a new list. I can do this via the menu item Create New Variable List. Now I can add individual variables to this variable list. To do this, I use the green plus sign in the icon bar. A dialog box opens, showing all the variables in my project. I can now select individual variables, which are then added automatically to the list. If I click on the Play button, the Pass tool accesses the control system and shows me the current value of the variable. In the Force Control Value column, I can double-click to select the fixed value that is to be downloaded to the control system. By right-clicking and selecting Start Forcing Variables, the status of this variable is now fixed. The program is returned to its normal sequence by right-clicking and selecting Stop Forcing Variables. Once the check has been run, we will now stop the display and our program is ready to use. Now that we have successfully checked the program, the next step is for you to go to the machine and put the application into operation.